Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for exclusive underground Bible study that's fresh every day. We're looking this week at Psalm 125. Psalm 125, this is the sixth stop in our Psalm of Psalms of Ascent. As a matter of fact, this one begins simply just a song for those ascending. And so we're looking at Psalm 125 this week, five verses. We're going to do a verse per day. So what do we expect now? We've been traveling. We started out in Meshach. We started out in the tents of Kedar. We began there. We set our GPS for Jerusalem. And now we come to Psalm 125, and we're now, as I said, this is the sixth psalm of this song book of the Songs of Ascent. Well, we'll just read today verse 1. And verse 1 gives us Jerusalem in a similitude. It is a metaphor for something. So let's read that. And this is my translation. Those who trust in the Lord are as Mount Zion. It will not be shaken. Forever it stands. So now instead of having Jerusalem as a destination, as a fixed point in a GPS coordinate, we have Jerusalem as a metaphor. Now, we had Jerusalem as that fixed point back in Psalm 122. We said there in verse 2 of that psalm, our feet will stand within your gates, O Jerusalem. So we know that we were going there. We talked about the three beauties of Jerusalem in that psalm. We prayed for the peace of Jerusalem in that psalm, peace within the walls and peace within the palaces. We were headed in that direction, but now we're talking about something more. Jerusalem becomes an idea. It becomes a a, a metaphor for something greater, for something deeper, for those who trust in the Lord. So what are we going to compare those who trust in the Lord with? Well, the psalmist here takes that idea, those who trust in the Lord, and says, you know, those that trust in the Lord, they're like Mount Zion. It can't be shaken, and it can't be moved. It stands forever. So Mount Zion is our it was our destination. Now it becomes the sign or the symbol of someone who's trusting in the Lord. If you trust in the Lord, that's you. You are unshakable. Why is that? Is it because you're smart or you're pretty? Is it because you're rich? Is it because you have positions of power and influence in your community? Or perhaps is it because you know and love and trust the Lord God? You see, our hope is fixed in his promises and in his word. And when you trust in the Lord, you are that sure because he is the eternal one. His word is true. It is right. It is tried. It is tested. And if you trust in him, then you too will be as fixed and as sure as his very word. So those who trust in the Lord are like the mountain of Jerusalem. It's not going to be shaken, and it stands forever. The Lord has put his name there. The Lord has called his people there. Jerusalem is always going to be the place where God's name is found. In the past, in the present, and in the future, Jerusalem is that city. See that here in verse 1. It will not be shaken, and forever it stands. And that is, uh, of course, gives us that metaphor. And now as we look through the rest of the psalm, verse 2 verse 3. Actually, verse 3 is sort of the hub upon which all of this travels. And verses 4 and 5, we're going to continue to use Jerusalem as a metaphor for those who trust in the Lord. We're going to change the language a little bit and see some different uh, different things about it. Tomorrow is really beautiful because Jerusalem is surrounded by mountains, and we're going to see that those mountains represent something as well. So those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. Tomorrow, That Mount Zion is surrounded by mountains, and that tells us something. Don't miss a day of Psalm 125. Join me tomorrow on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.